Hello, hello, and welcome back to follow Black Sad. Last time we we meet this uh, goat man who telling about some people who leaving from the gym. And well, it wasn't last time. Last last time. So last time, what happened is was we go to talk with the with with the gym owner, the Dunn uh, daughter. I don't know. I don't remember her name. Anyway, we when we talk about with her, we able to able able to open the. No, we don't able. We just go to talk with her. And um, we saw some flash on the roof. So let's recap. And of course, I'm doing the woman voice and try to do other voices too. So bear with me. What's going on? Don't tell me you found something. I think we have. We got Snoop. What secrets do you hide? Click, Miss Dunn. You. I can explain it, John. So this is the news reporter. We make a deal with him, and that he tried to find information some uh, agent, uh, the Walrus, who is uh, uh, the opponent boxer. Who is this? Uh, who disappeared? This uh, Bob Yell, who disappeared. His uh, opponent. They have some kind of big uh, fight in two weeks. So the his opponent boxer manager come to visit in this uh, team and uh, something blah blah blah. So this weasel is going to find about information for us. So we allow to him to get this uh, case also to publish in the newspaper so he worked in the newspaper anyway let's continue Mary Perno knew more than she had originally originally let on Joe, Joe and I were in cage this is the cleaner lady who saw that Joe Dunn was uh, dead uh, found him hang. But he hadn't told anyone yet. You know, I'm a widower, a widower and a cleaning lady. We didn't want the people to start talking behind our backs. And now, if you'll excuse me, I lost my scarf and I have a bit of cold. I thought, I'm sure you understand. I'm not feeling very social at the moment. Yeah. I remember making even more progress in EVE investigations. So, last time we didn't much have progress, but we found out that Joe Dan was a relationship with the cleaner lady. Yeah, let's continue the story and hopefully we can find something. New clues. I don't know where we go next. Okay. We start from the alley and we... Last time we stopped on the alley. The goat man is very tired now. We don't bother him anymore. Let's go here. Do he have any new, new answers to us? Ah, keep training. Nothing. And uh, what else we can find here? The paint. There's nothing here. We should go to upstairs to talk with the Joe Dutton's daughter. What her name? Uh, What can you tell me about Jim's insurance interview with the weekly? I want to know the insurance. Is there some kind of fraud? I never asked about the Jim's insurance. That's exactly what I'm reading now. So far, it looks like your standard small business policy. Lover. Mary Purnell. 
I think she was in love with your father. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. You see, I've got this friend. He's a journalist, and uh, the thing is, well. You want to interview? Yeah. Uh, he would like to interview you. Why? A woman running a boxing gym? That's quite the story. And how did this friend of yours find out, exactly? I'm pretty sure he saw the... Uh... I don't even want to hear you. I just hope you prove your professional worth before the day is over. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. <laughs> She's not the pleasant person. So, she really don't like that news that his father was in a relationship with the cleaner lady. And I should not tell about it. But I still tell, because I think she should know about it. And, um... But, he have a relationship with the cleaner lady after her, his uh, wife died. So, I think it's be okay. You heard it, you know that too, but there was so much secrets about it. I'm embarrassed. And yeah, I should also the weekly. Weekly is the weasel who is the news reporter. And I promise him to give the interview with her. Where we should go now? We should go to the Bobby Yell place. We go there. And now the searching of the quests and the quest tips start. We try to find any place where we can interact. We miss something. Okay, that is one. Damn. Back in ten. Okay. So the clue is in these kind of games that you try to find any info or something around the environment. And uh, hey, I think we found the cards. Let's go again. There. Yes, we found the cards again. We don't need those. Uh, let's go. Why we can't go to the diner? Back in 10 minutes. There's already people inside there. Hi. Is there is anything we have to think? Some clues. Floor. Let's see. That one. Nope. Uh, that one. That one? No. That and Paint. Yes. Is she seducing? No, that's careful. Yes. There's a pain stain on the chin. Yes, because he'd be angry. Don't want it to call off the fight. Uh, 
that one? Is it in? No. God. Nope. That. We know this fit too. Can we try that. And that one. No. Okay. Stain. Argument. Grass. Footprints? No, we already tried that. 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 That one. We don't have enough. No. Okay, let's leave this. See? More cards. Nice. Make the call with the chief officer. Do he know anything? You're gonna like what I have to tell you about the Dunn case. Yeah, everything I want to tell. I found racial slurs painted on the lockers at Dunn's gym. He was pretty open-minded about racial issues. Maybe his death had something to do with that. John, half of the crimes in this city have racial ramifications. Unless you have solid proof that it wasn't suicide. My hands are tied. I think I have a new lead on the Dunn case. O'Leary, that Asher's place, and ran into O'Leary's men. They were waiting for him. Now, well, it's only normal. They run an illegal gambling operation. If a fight's canceled, they lose money. I'd love to take a swing at O'Leary, but we can't base the case on a hunch. I'm not finished yet. I think I have a new lead on the Dunn case. A close friend of Dunn's works for O'Leary. You mean that gorilla? Your ex's bodyguard? We know. O'Leary is a respectable citizen. Until we prove otherwise. So there's nothing wrong with him hiring a bodyguard. I think I have a new lead on the Dunn case. Hey, really? And the gym's cleaning lady were about to get married. Great. Call what's news. They'll know what to do with such an incredibly interesting piece of information. The combination on Dunn's safe was her birthday. He even gave her a ring. You know, your typical suicidal bliss. Okay, I'm still not convinced, but I might have something for you. Okay, nice. Progress. Yes. Life is often off key, like a bad song. The notes come together but feel flat, unable to create anything resembling music. And yet, there are ways to string them together to create harmony. Ways that are not always entirely in our hands. You look tired, John. You look pretty tired yourself. Yep, I'm beat. I'm starving. Just got back from the annual police medical. Not only did I have to fast, but I also had to chug two enormous glasses of water. John, you all right? I've had better days, and I'll have them again, I hope. We both deserve to. The thing is, I'd love to help you out with this case, but I can't. You know I work for the state of New York. If I had any information, I couldn't share it with a private eye. Even if it was lying on top of this table. You said you were starving. Why don't you go to the counter and order something? Hmm? Yeah, sure, good idea. If you'll excuse me. <clears throat> Yes. The 
พี่ Sugar The rope mm. game. Scrape it in the purpose. Interesting. He had been hitting something. You don't find anything strange, but. 7 p.m. October 1919. Violet asphyxia from death suicide. Now that I think of it, I better eat at home. It's healthier. Yeah, it's good. Thanks. <laughs> Truth is, John, it all seemed clear to me before, but now? Please, promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. I'll try, but sometimes there's no alternative. Mm. All right. In any case, keep me posted, will you? Friend, you can count on it. Take care, John. As always, Smirnoff had given me new, potentially relevant information. Not to mention second thoughts. When an old dog like him gets that serious, one must be prepared to bite. Okay. It's a brainstorm. Anything new? Hmm. According to Jake, Don had a strong argument with the wild he was painting on the scuff. When Don died, his knuckles were swollen, so he had been hitting something. And age 47 weight. Don's weight. Age. Okay, we should go to see the the where he hang himself. There is probably something we see about it, the plane. Let's go to the team. I think we can find more clues from there. See the rope. I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up. Can we see more? Have to be something. Cards. More, oh, thank you. And more cards. Now we found again all the cards. Yeah, we have to brainstorm. Ooh. That length. That. Yeah. Hmm. I'm much taller than Dunn, and I can barely reach the noose. There's no way Dunn hanged himself. Not on his own, at least. Yeah. Bruce collected a lot of new educations. See more. What new? Don wasn't tall enough to hang himself from that noose. Don had a four different neck marks. Four different neck marks. Do we someone stroke him? No, paint. 
someone use that? Yeah, because this was on the grass. Oh, more. That there. Bobby Yale. I don't know if you had a motive to kill Dunn, but you certainly had the murder weapon. Okay. New. More. I think him. No. This painting is annoying me. Maybe he tried to fight? No. Scaffolding. No. And the scaffolding paint. Third one was that. And that. My God. Dunn must have punched the can while he was arguing with Yale. I guess that explains why he threatened to call the fight off. I Mary leave the footprints. No. We have to find the scarf. That and yes. Christ. Did Yale kill Dunn just because he wanted to call off the fight? No. I don't believe that. I always knew Bobby had issues. But I never thought he'd go that far. A part of me thinks Bobby Yale didn't do it. But the chest expander, the box in his locker, the marks on my father's neck. It all leads to him. In any case, that doesn't change a thing. It does, actually. Now we know he didn't kill himself. My father's still dead, and you still haven't found Bobby Yale. Nothing has changed. Opening the safe and finding my father's will won't help us achieve anything. So please hurry. Time's wasting. We tried your best. By trying our best. Sonia's indifference never ceased to amaze me. But most importantly, why was she so opposed to Yale? John Blacksad? I think I owe you an apology. Ah. Oh, Lowry. Do I know you? I don't seem to remember your face. <laughs> well, uh, maybe you remember my boys. I'm so sorry they wrinkled your suit. The thing is, uh, they didn't know we shared a common goal. Bobby Yale. I want to find him and get to the bottom of this as much as you do, Mr. Blacksad. So please. Kindly accept my invitation. Why not share our findings? Come on. No. I'm afraid I have to say no. I can't ride in a fancy car with a wrinkled suit. Oh, I don't see why not. In any case, if those little wrinkles make you uncomfortable... 
<laughs> I always play it nice and safe. Yeah. It's better me to find the yell than them to find the yell. Thank you, Black Sad. You won't regret this. So let's cut to the chase. I need Bobby Yale to fight Stone. There's just too much money at stake. So I'm offering you my help to find Yale. Let's work together. I don't work with criminals like you. Oh, I didn't expect you to play the morality card so soon. Please, hear me out. Let's say I bet a beer that we find Yale in three days. And you bet a beer that we don't. In three days, one of us has to buy the other a beer. Is that so bad? We're simply two grown men using our money and free will to conduct a small private exchange. And most importantly, we're not hurting anyone. So, yeah, I run a gambling business. What's so bad about that? It's illegal for starters. Illegal? Let me tell you what should be illegal. The way our government is ruining America. We live in a so-called free country. A place where honest people can make a living, provided they don't hurt anybody. We're not communists. Well, at least I'm not. I would have never thought otherwise. As for me, with all due respect, it's none of your business. Ooh, all right. Never mind then. In any case, that's not my point. The government betrays our nation's values by passing communist laws that forbid an honest man like me to make a living without hurting a soul. And that, Mr. Black said, is just wrong. I'd even say it's unconstitutional. Do you get my point now? Okay, but that doesn't justify what you do for a living. Oh boy. Did you hear anything I just said? Anyway, when the government passes these laws, there's only one legitimate weapon the people can wield. The same weapon that turned America into a great nation. Civil disobedience. So, as the proud American that I am, it's my duty to disobey. Sure, but there's no room for your ways in civil disobedience. My ways? Oh, I know what you're getting at. But what's past is past. I wasn't always a boss, you know. No, sir. I started at the bottom, when Lucky Blitzen ran the show. That good for nothing. His was a reign of terror, extortion, violence, you know, that sort of unpleasant thing. When I took over, I decided I'd make people want to do my bidding. Not out of fear, but out of gratitude. I decided to help people so they would help me. That beating your thugs gave me was really helpful. Thank you so much. Ah, ah, ah. Those poor bastards didn't even know you were a detective, that you were on our side. Maybe at first, but when they tied me up and beat the socks off me, they knew very well who I was. Seriously? That goes against my rules. Who was it? Yeah, the two of them. Bastards. But don't you worry. I'll have a talk with those two. I cannot tolerate this behavior. Please, accept my apologies, Mr. Blacksad. You see, a lot of people work for me. Many families depend on my business. Not only that, St. Christopher's Hospice practically lives on my donations. The widows of my late employees are set for life. Their kids get free schooling. The cops leave me alone because they know my business doesn't hurt anyone. On the contrary, and ah, it looks like we're here. Yeah, he justifies his yeah, decriminal yeah. ways. <laughs> I told you, I'm on your side. Go ahead, search the place. I'll wait down here. When you're done, maybe you'll change your mind and share your findings with me. Oh my god. Now, it's your call, Mr. Blacksad. I'll make sure you're suitably compensated. 
Coburn. Wilson. He's forcing me to find the information and finding the Bobby Yell. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I I barely know him. Hmm. Yeah, circus right. Pizza. The worst thing about O'Leary's boys dropping by isn't the beating, but the fact that I can't tell what's theirs and what's Yale's. Can't say this is the ideal drink for an athlete. Then again, it could be your classic bookie thug lunch. A woman's fragrance. Almost angelical. The scarf, it's the Mary's. Mary no berries. I'm not sure how Yale's love of pickles will help me crack the case, but it's good to know. More cards, nice. Uh, judging by the general state of the apartment, they were leading a quiet life. You should try to find the trash. The trash is always good place to know more. More cards. Mm. That is a little bit disturbing. The Sicilian capo. So you like your mob stories, don't you, Bobby? Seems like Bobby inherited something more than boxing skills from his father. Besides the tendency to vanish into thin air, of course. Nice chain. Is his father ever, ever, Avenarius? Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? His father lived here. Because the Mary come here and she uh, left her scarf. This apartment. And there's the books also. What is going on? Why would you want such a big closet for so few clothes? Unless someone emptied it recently. Yes. Nothing here. Oh, I have to look around. Also. Nothing more. Here's nothing. Books, the painting. We we need to go there. Can we go here? Yes. L.A. Fontaine. Uh. Okay. 17th century French fables. Mayor must be one boring old lady. There's a cart more. And there's also a brainstorm. Yes, Mary, have a cold. And see, I have a scarf here. They have it. That means she's been here recently. 
but why? What does Sweet Mary have to do with Yale, the murder suspect? Yeah. Did Mary have uh, some kind of relationship with Joe Dunn? And look like now she have uh, some kind of relationship with the Bobby Yale. Uh, there's uh, some kind of... They doesn't fight about the... The coming boxing happening. They have some kind of a love triangle. From the cleaner lady. I'm very sure that they doesn't kill the Bobby, uh, no, the Bobby L and Mary doesn't kill Joe Dunn. I think the O'Laris come to and kill the yeah, uh, no, uh, Dunn. Yeah. Wait. I can see anything else. There's some kind of thing. No. Okay. We are closing the one hour, and I think we should stop playing here and. Next time, next week, we continue here playing and go to talk with the booking people who's waiting me. That's how we can deal with that. But that happened in next week. Same time, same place. Bye.